Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about another indicator called swing index. Uh, we are looking at uh, eToro platform and we are looking at Euro US dollar and one minute chart. Uh, if you're trading on eToro, you should know that uh, swing trading is not allowed there, you know. So uh, you don't, uh, you can't just open and close too many trades anyway. But uh, you can use this indicator on longer time frames as well. But uh, based on my experience and, you know, from days before that I used to do some uh, swing trading, I use this uh, quite often. But... I can say this is not one of my favorites, so, uh, but to just uh, complete all the uh, technical indicators as much as I can on my channel, I'm going to explain a bit about this indicator. As I said, I set it on one minute uh, and I'm explaining why. Um, I'm adding the swing index, it's here. If you just go to, sorry, to a, a swing index, and the color it doesn't matter, you know, and frankly, this limit move value also not important. And even on ETRO, if you change it to whatever numbers, it just changes the values at the side. And uh, yeah, so don't worry about those things. Just create. You can see. The indicator here. Um, Overall, um, we can say that swing index, this indicator, is used to compare a price movement uh, or a price change uh, to price swing. So why it compares these price changes? Uh, the purpose of this is to, you know, to be able to define the strength of uh, the price movement. Uh, normally positive above uh, zero uh, numbers indicates that the price is going up. And if it's uh, negative, it indicates that the price goes down. Uh, traditionally, uh, some traders use this indicator to get signals. So um, a buy signal can be uh, considered when the swing index the line here crosses over zero, zero line, then you might expect, you know, that's why I'm, I'm setting this in one minute. Uh, in these situations, you might expect very, very short term price moving upward. Uh, So you, after it crosses above zero, you may see few bars or few candles in upward movement. For example, here you can see it crosses above zero, then you have few upward uh, candles. So as I said, Here you can see we have a few upward candles after we crossing above zero. Uh, the other side, we can see here, for example, uh, a sell signal could be considered when uh, the swing index, this line, crosses below zero. Uh, so in this situation, again, we may expect a very, very short-term price movement downward. 
and in some cases even you know the price uh, the down move uh, may not start it which is a good thing about swing index uh, but but uh, we start to have uh, down swinging so we see the swinging down then after that when it crosses uh, zero line you may you will have a few candles uh, just let me add here you can see uh, we, we may have few candles moves downward um, as I mentioned um, swing index is based on the two bar data so uh, it looks at two bar data and it used in uh, like intraday short term trading uh, just several bars into the future is what we expect to predict using this indicator, not more, just few bars. As I said, for example, here you can see uh, it crosses below zero, then you can expect few bars downward movement. Uh, or maybe just check a few more. Here you can see we have few upward movement and this is one minute chart so uh, you see crossing here you put buy you just keep watching and when you see that it goes to going to cross below just close your buy so uh, one two three four minutes in the trade and boom you're going out um, that's why I'm saying you know some uh, brokers like uh, eToro doesn't like it and they don't allow you to just open and close trades uh, frequently. And that's a part of it, of their policy anyway, and they saying that they want to protect uh, traders. But because this is their platform and one of the um, indicators on their platform, I thought maybe I'll just explain it a bit. Uh, as uh, you can see, swing index is very choppy, uh, so it may give you some uh, false signals as well, but uh, most of the time the signals are reliable, um, especially after a big uh, move, then you expect, you know, bigger movement, then, you know, it's very close to the zero. Uh, Less volatile, but you know, uh, when we are uh, moving in wider ranges, then it's more volatile, and you may see bigger movements after each crossing. So, yeah, as I said, uh, some traders use this to get signals, like this one. I'm just adding the annotations. Yeah, we said okay, this is a buy uh, signal. And then, um, yeah, it crosses below. So this was the cell signal. Um, but some other traders just uh, look at this to uh, just define the strength of the movements. Uh, then, you know, they go to the other indicators and decide if they want to put um, any uh, new orders or positions. Anyway, this is how you use this uh, indicator. It's not a um, very popular indicator. And um, even as I said, it's not one of my favorites, but this is how you set it up and this is how you're going to use it. I hope uh, you enjoyed today's video. Uh, have a nice day, see you later.